Uh, congratulations. This movie is so freaking hilarious Thank that honestly you. I could not stop laughing from beginning to end. Yeah. Uh, when you get a, a Fairly Brothers script, you pretty well know what you guys are signing up for here. Mm -hmm. Was there anything when you first read the script that just shocked you? I, well, I was kind of shocked by the fact that I was expecting this Fairly Brothers script, and yet I got the script with, like, heart and conscience, and, like, you know, I mean, it had yeah. this sort of, like, you could see that they, that they love their wives. So I really, I, I was really shocked by that, and I think that, you know, people yeah. are going to be surprised by that. How about you, Jenna? I was expecting kind of just a dude movie, you know, but then I think the movie really pays off for women. Something they're not showing in the previews is that we get a hall pass too. Yeah. And so um, the movie, the girls have fun in this movie as well. Yeah, they do have a lot of fun. Yeah, they have yeah. more fun. Yeah, I I'm mean, not giving we it away. Have more we have fun. More fun. No, you have a great time. We don't go to Applebee's. No, we don't. We know exactly where to go. That's so, right. Okay, College yeah. baseball games. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, are. seriously, who yeah. goes to Applebee's unless yeah. you have 18 kids and, you know, really, come we on. We know where the hot boys are. You sure did. You sure <laughs> did. Uh, the realities of a hall pass. I mean, seriously, that's what I did love about the film and what ends up happening, especially with, with the guys. But I, I don't get it. I mean, seriously, I've been married, what, almost 23 years. I In a million years, I would never even think to Not on your life. Never. Not on your life, never. sucker. Don't even bring it up. It's Not a horrible happen. idea. It's a horrible idea. No, no sane person would do a hall pass. No. No. No sane woman. No sane woman. Guys are like, I knew it. But Not no. even. Like, then no, that they man is just no, they a, that's a total idiot. This, two days in, they'd be calling their wives going, uh, are you sleeping with anybody? You'd be freaking out. They will accept it. they would realize that we're on a hall pass yeah. and yeah. probably be more successful. Yeah. Like I've said earlier, it's like a threesome. Good in theory. Never ends up a good idea. Bad yeah. in reality. Bad in reality. Yeah. And I think a lot of good people are just big talkers, don't you think? They t yeah. talk more of a big game than actually, you know, going through with stuff like that. You know, what people yeah. forget about your single life, like you romanticize it. Once you've been in a couple for a long time, you think back to your single days and you think like, oh, that was so much fun. I was always out drinking and partying. What you were doing was looking for true love. Yeah. That's what you're doing when you're out single. You're not just yeah. really, I mean. And a perpetual state of like, you know being hung over and unhappy. And, and rejected. Yeah, yeah. It's really way better to, to just. do that? Yeah. Yeah, it ends at some point, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, when you know that you have an R-rated script to work on, as opposed to like when you're working on something like The Office, you gotta, you know, you, you gotta be careful what Standards you're talking about. Standards and practices. Exactly. But when you have an R-rated script, how much freedom, or is it just like, oh my God, I can really did go even, with it? Do we even like did R we it up? curse? No. We didn't R it up at all. We're not in a very so R-rated section of the movie. Yeah. I know. I didn't even I hear the F word. We should do it again. Yeah. But mm -hmm. even for DVD like purposes, like didn't as well, I'm sure there's tons of stuff that's going to be on that DVD that you girls not, probably might not, not remember what you did. We had this very <laughs> unique situation where we were in like a raunchy Fairly Brothers movie, but our section of the movie was rather PG. Yeah. So we kind of, as as women, we come out kind of unscathed, yeah. which is awesome because you we got to work with the most yeah. fun directors ever in a great environment without we having didn't have to do any anything. Prosthetics in our face. Nothing. Nothing. See. <laughs> just we just got. Yeah. We got like <laughs> no cool body fluid boys, and we got to play volleyball, mm -hmm. and we beer. and yeah, and we walked away. You guys had it pretty good, I have to say. We, we really did. did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Plus, that we got to hang out with one another, yeah. and 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 the guys, and like we'd text each other from set. Like if she was working one day and I wasn't working, that was the worst. We'd text and be like, "I miss you so much." I hate. We were like it. a newlywed couple. She left two days before me. She was finished mm -hmm. two days before me, and those two days were so sad. Oh, I, sorry. I hated it. How do you know when you have comedic chemistry? I don't, it just fits. I don't, and yeah. it's something you can try for, but really the best is when it just fits. When your, your energies sort of work off of each other. Yeah, you, you have, can't force it. No. It's just sort of there or not. And I think we are really lucky on this movie because I think Jason and Owen have it mm -hmm. in spades and it's amazing. And then we had a good chemistry. Yeah. If I do say so myself. You can totally say so. so. It was, you guys I were, say so then. You, t you guys were fantastic. What's it like to have two directors? How does it work with the Fairleys? They have it really, they have it worked out. Like down, it's down to a science with them. Peter does all yeah. the talking. He does the talking. But Bob's but like the godfather. Yeah, I kind of like to think he's the brains behind the whole operation. Kind of is. Yeah. You knew that they I'm were finished with a scene that, yeah. if Bobby got up. Yeah. So but Bobby kind of sits at the the uh, monitors. Yeah. And then Peter is the messenger. Now that's not to take away from Peter's, you know, part in this. But Bobby might be the 
the brain. He's behind like the, the secret wizard behind the I curtain. I don't know. Peter's going to kill me. No, I, they, <laughs> <laughs> but they work really well. They know that that having two people like in radio in your ears is not a good thing. So one comes yeah. with the message. But they discuss it. Yeah. And then in the middle of that, they play some sort of like weird games and then they'll pay they attention play a lot to anything that we're doing. <laughs> yes. What is the art of keeping a straight face? I mean, you guys do a lot of comedy. I don't know how you get through half the stuff that you it's guys do. It's editing. Oh, come yeah. on. It's editing. It's true. I mean, you know, you can only not laugh at something that's really funny for so long. I mean, you have, eventually you break and luckily, you know, they, you get to do it a bunch of times and hopefully by like the seventh time, you, you know, but sometimes you just get that, you just get so tickled by yeah. it, you can't stop. Is there any kind of secret to it? I, you know, I, I liken my ability to, to not laugh that being a child actor in that kind of environment where we would actually get in trouble for that. So oh, that's you true. kind of, you learn to sort of keep it under wraps. But the problem with me is that once I'm, once I go, I'm gone. And then mm -hmm. there's no, I don't, I can't pull it back. So I have to be really, really aware of Someone it because told me otherwise I get church lip. laugh and I'm done. I'm done forever. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> it's the worst thing ever when you can't stop. Now I asked you but guys it's earlier. the best laugh that you'll ever have. Yeah, absolutely. Church I asked you earlier really about being good. shocked, but there were some things in this movie, I mean, that went on, I was kind of like, oh my God. I mean, they get, they really, there's certain things, but have you ever heard of fake chow? Like, where do the fairies come up no, with I this know. stuff? No, I know, and when I, when I heard that, I said to them too, I'm like, what the, is that? Like, Peter does, claims that's a does thing. that. He says that's a thing. It's not a thing. He says he has Peter a friend it. who does fake chow, and that's where he got the, the I've Peter never heard it. of it. That's a thing. It's a thing, it's a fake chow. Do 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 Everyone do do? knows fake chow. <laughs> what do you, what do you I got a friend about? who's got fake chow, it's just fake, fake chow. chow. Who doesn't yeah. know what a fake chow is? I think they're okay. going to do a whole movie it's about fake chow. I don't know. Seriously, I'd never in my life I mean, heard and of just it. the word chow and it just yeah. together. I hate it. It just <laughs> makes me, like, nauseated. Like, I can't. Ugh. You know what? You know what? You know what drove me crazy? was spank bank. I'm going to put that in my spank bank. Oh, God. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, and Buffet of Booty, I think, too. There was a couple. There was some oh. really good stuff in this movie yeah. in terms of, yeah, that will live Fish on forever. Fish taco. Oh, oh, that's not in the movie. That's just something that's that something to put in your head. <laughs> This, you bum, guys, this bums me out when I hear that. <laughs> you guys are so great and it's really a lot of fun. It's great talking to you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Nice seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jenna. Thanks. Fish taco.